Uh, hello there and welcome back to my new video. So in this video I want to show you how to uh, create a live template for a recycler view adapter. So if you haven't watched my previous video about live template I uh, highly suggest you to do that before you continue watching this one. So uh, first uh, what we are going to do uh, we're going to add a dependency for our recycler view. So we are going to open our uh, build gradle file and we're going to add a recycler view dependency here. Okay so uh, once you added that you need to sync your project. So uh, there is another way of uh, adding a recycler view dependency and uh, that might be an easier way so basically you just search a recycler view and uh, just drag and drop that inside your layout and the android studio will uh, automatically ask you to uh, add uh, this dependency for you okay so now, th now that we have added that uh, we can proceed next and now we're going to create a new kotlin file and the name of this file should be uh, for example my adapter and inside this file uh, we're going to create a class so first uh, we're going to create uh, my uh, uh, adapter for a uh, recycler view adapter and then we're going to uh, add this uh, whole code inside our live template so our class will extend the uh, recycler view uh, dot adapter and here we are going to pass uh, my adapter dot uh, for example my view holder and uh, my view holder is a class uh, which we're going to create inside our uh, my adapter class but first uh, let's uh, implement all the members for a uh, recycler view so select all those three methods and uh, click ok all right so uh, that's uh, done and now and Android Studio will uh, prompt you to create a class for my view holder so cl uh, click that and select my adapter because we want to create this class inside our uh, my adapter class okay and this class should extend the recycler view dot view holder class okay and uh, let's uh, see what Android Studio is uh, offering to us so change the constructor invocation and we have another warning here uh, add constructor parameter item view and that's it so we uh, have uh, we don't have uh, warnings anymore and uh, now what we're going to do as you can see here uh, we have three uh, imports in our adapter and inside the on create view holder uh, method uh, we want to inflate our layout for our uh, custom row so uh, uh, Okay, so I'm going to remove this uh, my adapter uh, name because we don't need that. Uh, as you can see, Android Studio is showing us that uh, it is uh, irrelevant. And uh, now I'm going to create a view uh, variable here and I'm going to use a layout inflator object. I'm going to pass this context and I'm going to use method uh, inflate. And uh, to pass um, this custom uh, layout file, I'm going to create one. So let's create just a simple uh, layout file named uh, custom road. So this is just an example. I won't uh, create here uh, anything. I just need a, I, I just need a file. Okay, so here I'm going to pass this uh, resource file. And the second parameter should be a parent and the third parameter uh, false. And uh, I'm going to return uh, my view holder and I'm going to pass this uh, view object. Okay, and uh, that's basically it for our uh, recycler view adapter. And now uh, we're going to create a live template for this uh, recycler view adapter. Okay. Uh, Okay, so now uh, we're going to open up a live template. So go to File, Settings, then Editor, and then Live Templates. And here you will see my live templates. This is a live template group which I have created in the previous video. And now we're going to create a new live template. So the abbreviation for this uh, template should be uh, My Recycler Adapter, for example, okay? And uh, okay, so I will type just a random text here so I can click Apply. And uh, next, uh, let's copy this whole code. Uh, from our uh, recycler view adapter so control c it is, it is a shortcut to copy and we're going to paste that code uh, here okay so uh, for the context uh, we're going to choose a uh, kotlin and uh, top level okay so after that uh, just click uh, ok and uh, apply so here uh, i'm going to remove this uh, whole code okay and this one and i'm going to try to call this uh, live uh, template so my recycler adapter click enter and as you can see uh, we haven't added uh, those imports yet okay so i'm going to copy first this uh, full import for a recycler view and i'm going to paste that uh, inside our live template so replace this uh, recycler view with uh, this uh, full path of import and uh, down below as well so here replace that with a full path okay click apply and now let's delete all of that and uh, let's import this live template again. So as you can see the recycler view import is uh, added uh, automatically for us and also we need to add a, lay a layout inflator, a view group and view. So let me just uh, import those three uh, classes here and then we're going to use those imports in our live template. So here in uh, my recycler adapter I'm going to replace this view with android.view.view. .view .view. Click apply. Okay. 
Next, let's import this uh, view group. So copy this uh, import, open up a uh, live template and here replace this uh, view group with a uh, full path. Okay, that's fine. Click apply and uh, layout inflator as well. Okay, so let's copy this uh, Android view dot layout inflator and let's paste that uh, in a live template as well. So replace this one and click apply. Okay, so now let's remove uh, everything and let's uh, call our live template. So now all our classes are uh, imported uh, automatically for us. Okay, so that's uh, nice. And the next thing we want to do, uh, we want to add uh, a variable for this uh, layout file and for our class name. So next open up a live template, uh, shortcut is uh, Alt, uh, Control and S. So here instead of this uh, my adapter uh, class name, uh, we're going to create a new variable. So the variable name should be uh, adapter name and we're going to use this same uh, variable uh, once more again. So here replace my view uh, my adapter name with this variable. Okay and now click edit variables uh, a button and for the expression uh, we're going to uh, scroll down below until we find the uh, file name without extension. Okay select this expression click OK and click apply. So now let's check it out how will that work. So let's remove uh, everything from here except the package on, on the top and now let's call this uh, live template. Okay click enter and now as you can see the class name is uh, populated automatically. It um, inferred the name of our uh, Kotlin file which is uh, my adapter. Okay. So for example, let's create another file uh, with the name of uh, my new adapter and let's try calling our uh, live uh, template again. So as you can see it uh, inferred uh, the name of its file. So everything works fine here. So we can remove this file for now, we don't need it. Okay, and uh, here uh, we're going to create uh, one more variable. So let's open our uh, live template. Okay, and here instead of this uh, hard coded uh, custom row or name of our layout, uh, we're going to create a variable with the name of layout. And here uh, we're going to uh, select the expression. So the expression, let's scroll down below until we find uh, complete smart. Okay, click OK and click apply. So basically, uh, this expression will let us uh, choose the layout file from our resource. And let's try it, uh, that again. So Okay, click tab and when you click tab it will automatically move your cursor to this layout uh, and as you can see you can just choose the layout you want. As you can see we have three layouts. Okay, we can choose one and there you go. So this is uh, how you can dynamically choose a, a resource file. So as you can see let's check that out again. Click tab and uh, just select any layout you want and there it is. So in just a few seconds uh, you manage to create a recycler view adapter with ease. Okay so uh, if you have uh, only one resource file then it will be uh, automatically added uh, when you press tab. So for example let's uh, use string instead of layout and when we, when we call this um, live template and click tab as you can see it will automatically populate the string with uh, the app name and that is because uh, we have only one string inside our uh, strings xml file and if we add uh, one more string or a resource file then uh, Android Studio will ask us uh, which one to choose. So for example let's name this name and let's uh, call the, our live template again. When you click tab as you can see Android Studio will ask you this time uh, which one to choose. But if you have just only one it will uh, use it uh, either way. Okay so next I'm going to replace this uh, with the layout so we don't need the string this time. Let's try that again. Click tab, select this layout and there you go. So in just a few seconds we managed to create our recycler view adapter and uh, it working perfectly fine. So uh, thank you for watching. Please uh, like this video if you find it helpful of course and uh, see you in the next one.